Hello, happy Tip Tuesday. This is Selena here again from Building Better Bridges. And I first want to ask you, did you go check out those videos from last week where the ladies shared their passion to purpose journeys? Well, if you have not, please go check out Tip Tuesday number seven. You will hear from four women that were amazing. And we have more women coming up in the following weeks to celebrate Women's Month. I definitely want you to hear from them. I have more to come. I will share that on my next Tip Tuesday, so look forward to that. But as we begin this month, I want to talk about the journey it takes when you are on your road to passion to purpose and outside noise or things that may impact you. So let's talk about this. There's one thing that I feel a lot of people go through, and it is feedback. A lot of times when we get feedback from somebody, we kind of close out our ears because we can't handle it. It really depends on the source. Consider what the person is saying, what kind of feedback. It's not the way they say it. It's not how they say it. It's actually what they are saying. Are they saying something that makes sense to help you grow in your process? A lot of times we get caught up in, oh, they said this to hurt my feelings. Are they saying it to hurt your feelings or are they saying it to support you? So I take feedback and I got this from my mentor. It's not criticism, it's feedback. It's the way they see or think that you can be better. Now, this, this is uh, something you have to sort of know innately and have that feeling. Is this person saying this to be hurtful or are they saying it to help me grow? And if you know in your heart of hearts that this person is really saying it to be helpful, you've got to investigate why are you on the defense from it? Is it something that happened to you all along? Maybe you are used to getting criticism and you don't take it well or it was never positive or never to help you grow. However, now I want you to think about feedback that is there to help you grow. If that person is there helping you grow, then you kind of sometimes have to put aside how they say it and think about, are they saying something that will help me? And if the case is that they are, then you need to investigate what that looks like. So an example, again, here I go with story time. So most of you know that I'm writing my dissertation. So in writing this, there's so many edits and so many iterations you go through that you have to share with other people. So I share it with my committee. We have There's three people and there's always like a long list of edits or changes. So I had to be open to taking feedback. So when I initially started this process, I went to someone at, let's say they have a writing consulting group and the lady was not connecting with me. So I'm gonna give you two stories. One, the lady was already ready to like just rip it to shreds did not understand the structure, what where I was going. I came in there for one thing and she was ready to rip it to shreds in another way. And I said, ma'am, but are you understanding the content? I wasn't yet ready for her to give me, oh, it's the grammar, it's this, that's initially some people's go-to. I wanted to know if what I was saying made sense. So I felt that in my spirit, not so much that what she was saying was wrong, it was the way in which she went about it. So what I did was, I found another writing consultant and that was a beautiful experience. And so I know she would tell me to look at this, think about this. And it was more of giving me ways to structure it. And then I could focus on the grammar. So one thing you need to know is when you're dealing with feedback, criticism, whatever you want to call it, before you get on the defense, think about, is it helping you grow? Is it hindering you? Or what is it doing and is it there to harm you? And if the latter is true, get rid of them. Like if they're there to harm you, you don't want to get into that. But if they're there giving you feedback that's going to help you grow and support you, you may need to think about yourself and kind of soul searching why that impacts you. Is it something from your past? Is it something that other people have done to you that make you always on the defense? So we need to think of criticism and feedback in these ways of supporting your growth and really dig deep and say, 
this person is writing for me, their feedback has helped me to grow, or this person is just being critical and they just don't have my best interests at heart. So on this Tip Tuesday, I just want to give you those two things to think about. Who's writing for you? Who's giving you feedback to help you grow? And who's someone who's just giving you criticism and they're stunting your growth? And if that's the case, you've got to get rid of them. So on this Tip Tuesday, I thank you for checking in. I want you to think about sending in a video. We want to hear from you. I talked about the different ways that you build yourself up. Now, if you want to send in a video also talking about ways that you felt on the defense or were defensive because you had criticism versus feedback or ways that you handle it, let me know. I want to hear a comment. Know this. It's hopefully to support you grow is what feedback does. And I hope that this channel helps you to do that as well. So happy Tip Tuesday as always. Keep sending your videos in. And as usual, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next week.